Okay, this is it. Well, this is not it. We've got a long way to go. But we are right at um, a big battle. Flane is missing. And we think the Death Knight has something to do with this. And I don't know where Manuela is. But uh, we're, we're some good stuff is starting here. Um, what I'm going to do, because I do have a lot of supports to go through. So um, instead... I'm going to go through 15 minutes of supports before we start the battle. Then we'll do the battle and then we'll continue on. And I do have a paralogue. We're going to do a paralogue today too. I, it's to do's paralogue. But um, let us start this up. <laughs> oh man, I've been waiting all week for this. Good stuff. Good stuff coming. Ah. <sighs> Hey, Kaseya. So excited, fun times. Missing content? You've been sub subscribed for 17 months. I feel loved. I really do. But first, we're going to do some supports. Um, Let's do... <laughs> Look at all these freaking supports. <laughs> we're not going to do them all, though. Um, I'm just gonna do some. We'll do violets. She's got a- I think she's got a couple. It is. Oh shit, I can't do that one yet. Okay, so not that one. I think I can do Balthus's, though. Ah, there you are. Can we talk? I need a favor, and you strike me as the charitable type. Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, this doesn't bode well. <laughs> Receptive, aren't you? I know I shouldn't ask, but I need some gold. Oh my god, this is a bad month for that. Hey, BB10. Just doing Our some support. Hard times all around then. Well, it was worth a shot. Guess that debt collector traveled all the way to Garrick Mock for nothing. If I were you, I'd feel bad about leaving the poor guy hanging like that, but it is what it is. Wait, I'm leaving him hanging? You better work hard to pay him back. No, it's a lose-lose. I owe the church, too. That means any work I do here, they take a cut. The only way to escape my financial burden is to get clear out of Fodlin. <laughs> oh, well... Should I say that saddens me greatly? I do like Balthus. <laughs> oh, I had... Didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's just joking, yeah? We all have to decide where we belong and then fight for it. Can't let your wallet control your fate. If money was all I cared about, I never would have walked away from inheriting a baron's house. Wow. You don't seem very noble to me. I hear that a lot. Still, it's true. I was the head of a minor house in the east of the Alliance. I like to say I stepped aside for the good of the house. Has a nicer ring to it than saying I just wasn't cut out for the gig. Or that I lacked the right temperament. My distinguished little bro took my place. Fact is, he's a much better man for the job. <laughs> Dang I'm it, feeling Jim. sorry for me now. I didn't mind one bit. Truth is, I'd have been miserable in that life. Having that title was nothing but fuss. Fuss is the worst. This way of life suits me much better. And you? Well, um, what about me? You showing up at Garrick Mock was a coincidence wrapped in happenstance. Your pops was a renowned mercenary leader. It can be safely assumed you'll follow in his footsteps. But don't you ever feel like that life was decided for you? Mm. I never thought about it like that. Better start pondering that one real quick, pal. Why keep breathing if your life isn't your own, yeah? Well, there's a decided lack of gold here, so I'll be off now. <laughs> you think on what I said. Okay, Balthus. And dang it, Jen! Stop! Stop abusing those poor tables! Alright, so I don't think I can do any more of hers. Oh, Rhea? I'm not gonna worry about her right now. Let's see what we got for Felix. Ooh, the Scythia. Mm -hmm. 
Yum. <laughs> ah, so delicious. I'm so content in this moment. Oh, God. Uh, Felix! Lysithia, you look mortified. How long have you been there? Were you watching me? You were, weren't you? I was, yes. Uh, for once I thought I had some privacy. Did you say something? Huh? Nope. Didn't say anything at all. Here! What's this for? I'm buying your silence. With cake. <laughs> Take it! I'm not sure what to be silent about. People knew I was shoveling cake into my face by the fistful. They'd think me nothing more than a child. Adults eat cake. Exactly. I'll never understand. Just take this, will you? No, I don't like sweets. Does your refusal mean you'll be telling everyone about my cake shoveling ways? I just don't like sweets, that's all. <laughs> Nonsense. Nobody can resist something so delicious. Look, I'm giving you this cake whether you like it or not. Eat it, toss it, throw it at an unsuspecting victim. The choice is yours. Just please don't mention this to anyone. What was her problem? I love... And what am I supposed to do with this cake? <laughs> I love how Felix just exists and all the girls are always giving him shit. They're always yelling at him for something and he's just like, what did I do? He keeps, like, stumbling upon them doing embarrassing things, and he's just like... <laughs> he don't even fucking care! <laughs> Alright, uh... <sighs> we got here? Ooh. We'll do a Ferdinand one. Oh, Mercedes. This is unexpected. Hello, Ferdinand. Did you come to pray? I did. I quite like the atmosphere in the cathedral. It is holy and solemn. Perfectly suited to a noble, wouldn't you say? Uh, I guess so. You guess so? I think the matter is rather clear-cut. It is incumbent upon nobles that we pray regularly to the goddess. The piety of the nobles is a model for commoners. It teaches them the value of devotion. Absolutely. I know exactly what you mean. I couldn't agree more. These days, many nobles scarcely, if ever, pray. Look around. You and I are alone in this cathedral. It is really quite a shame. Ah, <sighs> well, I don't really know that I count as a noble anyway. I am afraid the nobility seems to be losing its way. When you pray, you are usually alone, right? Um, yes, you're right. I usually am. Precisely. Where are the others? Of course you cannot force people to worship. That is out of the question. Nobles must determine for themselves what they will believe and how they will pray. A religion foisted on you without your say is not much of a religion at all. Do you not agree? Yes, I definitely agree. Definitely agree. <laughs> okay. On the other hand, we cannot stand idly by while... Um, it was great talking to you, but I'm getting pretty sleepy. I'm gonna head off to bed. Good night! All in all, one has to conclude. Mercedes, where did she go? I must have inspired her to go out and revive the faith. Perhaps I should do the same. I cannot let her show me up. I love how even Mercedes, who's like, she's the most easygoing, <laughs> laid back, sweetest like character, is like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> all right, um... Oh my god. I guess we'll do what they do. Oh, this is delicious. I can't believe I made it. Yes, you do have some talent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that, that. What's the matter? Have I got something on my face? No, Sylvain. Recently, I've heard rumors about you. Uh oh. Oh, yeah? Which ones? Is it that I'm terrible to girls? Or the rumor where I bring terrible misfortune to the girls I date? I don't, by the way, in case you're about to ask. 
Oh, I also heard about how I'm total trash and everyone should avoid me. That might be my favorite. Well, you don't lack for self-awareness. The way I figure it, if I can't be respected, I can at least be well informed. You are being described as indefensibly worthless. Indefensibly? <laughs> That's a bit harsh. I already knew your reputation concerning women, but these new rumors deprive you of all redemption. I did try to correct them, but I doubt I was believed. Well, thank you all the same. Listen, you don't need to worry what people think about me. As you well know, it's not easy to correct misunderstandings or change people's minds. And if I'm going to behave so badly, it seems misunderstandings are inevitable. I could not be silent. You saw me as a person, rather than merely as someone from Dusker. I want you to be seen as a person, too. I appreciate that, Dudu. You think the world will ever see us that way? Maybe. I can't tell if you're joking or not, but I like it. Then we will get along. Aww! They found some common ground! I told you Dudu's a good guy. He's a good one. I need to get my S support with him at some point. Uh, alright, what do I do here? Oh god. Alright, yeah, fine. We'll do that one. No, I, I, well, I'm gonna try and get, like, one of each character. Uh, alright, here we go. Okay, now that you know the technique, go ahead and solve this problem. Ah, I've got it! Finally! <laughs> See? Isn't it fun to learn? Absolutely. You're great at this, you know. You really seem to have all the answers. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Well, studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. One day, he never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing a father so suddenly? I completely understand. After he left, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garag Mok. Here? Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the Academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. The problem was that I needed money to get in. Lots of it. And I didn't have any at all. So I entered the School of Sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh, wow. So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but it's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. You've worked so hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. Aww. Okay, they need to get married. They do. They totally need to get married. <laughs> oh, I have a Shamir and Catherine. We'll do that one. And then we'll get to battles. And he said, I don't even have a horse. <laughs> Pretty funny story, huh? <sighs> what is it, Shamir? You're not laughing. Didn't you think it was funny? Sure. So then laugh. You could stand to be a little friendlier, you know. Do I need to be? What do you mean, need to be? Friendship isn't about obligation. You could try being a bit warmer. Like, when I first met you, I took the time to introduce myself and make friendly conversation, and you just said, Hi, I'm Shamir. Kinda like to do I remember thinking that you wouldn't be easy to get along with. Now that's funny. I remember thinking you were just another knight who loved the sound of her own voice. You know, the type who's all talk but useless in battle. Well, that's a bit harsh. Did you really think that? Yes. But you changed your mind when you saw me in action. I did. You're surprisingly strong. Well, 
Even though you had zero charm, you did a nice job of supporting me. Now I know that you'll always have my back. In fact, maybe I should take it easy and let you handle all the fighting. It sounds like I'm going to be doing a lot more work around here. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. At any rate, we're bound together, so we better try to get along. Don't you think, partner? If that's how you see it, I can't disagree. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Just wait until they're A support. They're gonna have googly eyes for each other at that point. Alright, so 15 minutes of supports. We'll, we'll do more after this battle. <laughs> Time for battle. Okay. Mission. The underground chamber. The monastery is shocked. Shocked! To learn that Sedith's younger sister, Flane, has gone missing. After an exhaustive search for clues, you finally come upon a lead. Alright. We still don't know where Flane is, but we can't give up. Not until she's found. Professor! Your Highness! I just heard a scream in Professor Uritsa's quarters! What? Uritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Uh-oh. <gasps> Isn't that... <gasps> professor Manuela! Who oh, knows? Professor Manuela! Please wake up! Professor Manuela! Is she... dead? No, I believe she's just unconscious. But this wound requires immediate attention. Look! Do you see Professor Manuela's hand? It's like she's pointing at something. I see it, behind that shelf. Could it be a secret passage? <laughs> what is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We must take her to the infirmary immediately. You, don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Of course. I'll return shortly, Professor. Uh-oh. Do you think this is related to Flane's disappearance? What should we do, Professor? Well, let's get down there and investigate. <laughs> Dark, uh, dark in there. Oh, you've always been scared of dark places, haven't you, Annie? But don't worry, the professor and I will protect you. There are sounds coming from within. If we're going to investigate, now is the time. We'll be okay, I'm sure of it. Are you ready, professor? Uh, I'm pretty sure the Black Eagle's route was, what was rushed. What is this place? Uh oh It's so... Ah! I see someone. I think they're unconscious. <gasps> it's Flane. There's somebody else. Yes, I see Flane. But who is this other person? Professor, someone's coming from farther in. That scythe. Is that the knight who attacked the Holy Mausoleum? That sword... You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. <laughs> okay, buddy. And then he's gonna go back to his horse and wait for us to come to him. <laughs> Why didn't he just cut us down right there? I mean, he is the Death Knight. On loading. I think you can jump, right? Yeah. You can jump. Alright, here we go. Alright. No Dimitri, because Dimitri's off helping out Professor Manuela, I guess. So who are we gonna have in this? Not all these people. Actually, yeah, I want Merced. No, I want Mercedes. Alright, let's see. Let's get right here. Get Ash to do Felix for sure. Sylvain, Ingrid. How many units can I get? Ten. So I can get three more. Uh, 
Ferdinand. We'll take Catherine with. All right, so now <laughs> we need to we need to get some supports here. So who are we gonna have support who? Uh, I don't know. All right, Constance gonna help her. We'll do Lysithia with Ferdinand. Shamir. There you go. Okay. Let's look at the map. Let's see where we're all at. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I gotta figure out. Maybe I'll have, um. I really should send someone who can heal this way. to do it. Yes, Felix is a thief. That night looks like death itself. We must rescue Flane immediately. There's something strange about the flooring at the end of the corridor. Something might happen if you step there. Yeah, I think this happens. Um, but you you could actually get keys, I think. You kill these guys, they have keys for the chests. So, we'll figure it out. Ready. What, that's it? Oh, here we go. Here goes! Let's come on. Oh. I'll crush them all. Just send these three over here. Oh crap. I don't want her to use her thunder brand. Oh, I'm it's fine. God, it's a lot of. Oh my god, there's too many people. Stay focused. Shit. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Alright, I'm gonna send you up here. Oh, he can't even do any damage to me. That was nothing! Yes! <laughs> you are not. the kill. All right, that worked out. I love it when the, those adjutants actually do something. A lot of times they do nothing. Yeah, just wait it out. Nobody wants to touch Byleth, I swear. What should I do? I'll go. I'll give it my all. Here we go. Just so obvious. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Just give up. Now, I did mention this. I'm not doing it for this. <laughs> Does she really? Um, but on on the paralogs, I have decided that there has been a, a lack of death in this Iron Man run. That on all of my paralogs, I'm going to bring with two of my lowest characters. So we may see some death though, because <laughs> this is just overkill. They're not even damaging me. Yeah. 
Don't worry, BB10. I think somebody's gonna die this stream. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion. All right, uh, we're not gonna use that. I'll never back down. Oh crap! <laughs> crap! Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Next time, bring your friends. <laughs> what? You mean you want to? You don't want these characters to die? Have you fallen in love with them yet? Because if you have, that's exactly where I want you. <laughs> Each battle, a chance to grow. Efficient. Alright. Yeah, we'll get Ash a kill here. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I'm not killing Sylvain! Why don't you that like him? Why is it only the girls like Sylvain? I swear. The guys are like, yeah, I hate him. <laughs> uh, he's not a jerk. He's, he's, he has issues because all the ladies just want to use him for his status. They just want crest babies. That's all he, all it is. And I don't blame him. I'd be pretty upset if no, the only reason somebody wants to get with me is because I can give him a crest baby. So much freaking avoidance. It's kind of shit. We got a. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, we're going for that one. Some kind of contraption has been activated. You should be on it. Always getting stronger. Turning off that raises avoidance. Okay, I'm gonna sound that. That's why I pull these guys off of the train. As expected. Oh crap, no. I think I sent something to the freaking. Yeah, I'll send that to the convoy. I need that. Okay, hold on. 
<laughs> we'll get we'll get Felix up here. Heal him up a little bit. Yeah. So. Ooh, little hearts. Oh man, I, th I think I can get. <gasps> no! Don't do that! Look at that! I would die! I would die for sure! Yeah, maybe I should just like soften these guys up. I'll stick with it. I don't know why, like, everybody I talked to tried doing Ash. A lot of them were like, oh, he's really shitty as a character. Well, yeah, if you try making him a Lancer or, like, a Swordsman, but, like, if you use him as a freaking um, archer, he's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you gotta take care. Um Oh yeah, we're just gonna start picking these guys off. That's how it goes. As expected. There's a lot of hearts going off today. Gotta open this door. I guess I have to wait. Splendor of no buildings. This was beneath me. That was a little bit of overkill. Just like that. <laughs> a little. <laughs> A little overkill, um, Ferdinand. They're start. They he actually had two percent crit. I would have really tried if they handle this. They had gotten that two percent crit on Sylvain. I know BB10 would have been happy, but I would have like literally broke down and cried. All right. Do my 
best. The mark of nobility. Oh, I got a chest key. Are there any chests around here? I need to get this door open. Felix, get your ass up here. <laughs> Much needed. People like me are quick studies. Sylvain already used the door key. Let's see. He's got a chest key. That's all right. Take care of this to do. Three bees. Eliminated. <laughs> Why do you need three three bees? <laughs> well, all right. So, have her him critting to do that would just not do you didn't give it your all oh to do is like so sweet he's a good guy why can't these people just see how good to do is was tough. I don't think it was really tough, Ash, because you're just over there picking them off. <laughs> no, it won't. I, I said that. I, that was actually on purpose. But yes, it won't. It won't do. Over here. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. 
damn it! Why did I do that? I I guess we're waiting here. I guess we're waiting. Damn it. Here goes. Alright. I know, I, I sometimes forget. Ooh, I could gambit. Let's get people over here and then I'll, I'll hit. Uh, I don't think I get enough. Thing. All right, here we go. Who is... Oh, shit, who is this? Oh! All right, well, I just wasted that. No, T-Mobile, I don't want a free Galaxy S21 5G. What's next? <laughs> Hold on. I hate those stupid pop-ups. Turn that shit off. Alright. I'm gonna have to repair a ton of my weapons after this. This was beneath me. I'm gonna use the gambit. I gotta get them in here. There we go. Much <laughs> needed. I uh characters have their own cheering squad, clearly. Sufficient. Dang it! There goes my brave axe. <laughs> Pretty much. You fought well. <laughs> I keep doing that like in every one of my fucking games. I give them stride. All right, that's gonna go. All right, so. Oh yeah. Just gonna make it easier for me once I get to that room so that I can have Wait, do I, I have to kill him? Myself. Oh shit, I don't know if I have to kill him or not. Scythe of Sariel. Shit! Do I have to kill him in here? I don't remember. What are what are the the, the... No! Alright, shit. Alright, well.
Yes, it does. If he doesn't have an, a, a battalion. God, fine. How do I check the map requirements? No. Conditions. Alright, defeat the Death Knight or rout all other enemies. Okay, I gotta rout all the other enemies. That's I'm not touching the Death Knight. He will kill one of my characters, and I don't want any of these characters to die. I, If I wanted a character to die, I would have brought Cyril with. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna steal those seals! Don't you worry! Felix is going down here to steal those seals, but, uh... Crap, You're at a lot. What? I can hear cowardice Oh, shut up! <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Well, I can't crit, so... <laughs> he's just... Where's Felix? Oh, he's all the way back there. <laughs> Shit. Alright, let's just do this. Shut. Is that all? He will crit. The Death Knight will crit my characters. There's one more, right? I don't want to route them all before I get these treasures. So, I gotta leave this guy alone. Alright. Crap. I gotta get Felix in there, though. <sighs> Shit. Who has a key? Alright. Violet's got a door key. Oh knows, but she's gonna kill him if he. Oh, I gotta give this to somebody who's not gonna kill anybody. I gotta get to, I gotta get to this, I think. Yeah, I gotta get up there. Oh, 
that's right, these guys are here. Oh, shit! So, you have come! I'll make sure you never leave! I know, I'm worried for Ingrid. Hopefully she'll be okay. She better not die. If she does, I gotta recruit uh, Leone. Because I need a good flyer. What is this device? It appears operational. All oh, for Lady Rhea. This will help keep me alive. I think we're right there. All right, now what? <laughs> Can't hold me back. They're just gonna throw themselves on her sword. <laughs> Fighting is what I do. alive in here. Oh no, I cleared them all out. Alright. Um, Ready. I have this here. How can I get her? Yeah, she's gonna do that. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what it is. Though I do like how like a devoted Hubert is to Edelgard. I really do. But you know. You know how I am with like villainous characters. Yeah, well, she could. She should have a horse, but I don't think I can do that with characters yet. Kind of a maze. Kind of. Oh, here we go. Really? That's all that did? Ash is all the way down here, and he could do shit, too. Alright. I gotta see. 25 turns! Shit, I'm at turn 10. We'll see if we can do this. <laughs> we'll see if we can do this. That's a door key. Wait. 
Wait, do I have anything in my convoy? Ooh, I do have two chess keys. What? Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Alright, so... Here, this is what we gotta do. <laughs> this is what I gotta do. Where is Ingrid? Gotta be a bit of a car courier here. Um, what, ch what turn is this? Damn it! Well, turn fifteen. Oh, we got ten turns. I think we can do this. <laughs> I think we can do this. If we can't, then I will call it quits. But I think we can. Great. Oh, shit. no, I can't. Oh, I can convoy. Okay. Convoy. I'm gonna take. Oh, he has a chest key. Fuck. Okay, here. Alright, it got the march ring. We're good there. Alright, I think we got this. Okay, okay, we're good. Got a loving sword. That's good. That's good. It's, it's all the chests, right? One, two. There's two chests. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna do this. Oh shit. How do we do this? I need Violet back here for the... to get people back in position. I need a dark seal. I need a dark seal really bad. Oh, I should have worked. Fuck. Alright. Everybody here. Okay, nine turns remaining. No! Don't do that! God damn it! Why do I keep fucking up? I think there are points where you can you can get a, a, a seal without killing the death dark or death knight. Why wanna say dark knight? But, uh... Problem is... I need somebody who has a broken weapon. Oh, 
The dude's got a broken weapon. All right. A war. Does she have a broken? No. We're gonna flip that anyways. No, you see, I have to make sure that Sylvain turns into a dark mage because he's badass when he's on that horse and he's like doing like fucking Sith moves and shit and tearing shit up. I need it. I need it. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Kind of! I kind of like the whole dichotomy of him being like this really like light-hearted joking like ladies man but really like deep down beneath he's like really dark. I love that shit. I just- I just eat it up. Um, okay. He's only he's only gonna get eleven on him, so let's see. Okay, okay, I think we got this. Now we can kill this guy. Fuck that. Violet's going in. That is that. Kill them. What? Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. What? We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. What? Flame Emperor and the Death Knight? I have to say, they both looked very dangerous. Where did they go? It doesn't matter. We need to get these two out of here. Bring them up. <laughs> Alright, that took longer than I thought it should. <laughs> like, I'm fucking up, but, you know, whatever. Ooh, all of our allies' motivation has increased. All right, let's get this. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be more talking. Thank goodness. Those girls are pale as ghosts, but at least they're alive. But that Death Knight person feels so familiar. You found Flame? Oh, thank goodness. She was unconscious at the end of that secret passage. We found the culprit too, but he got away. <sighs> no use dwelling on it. 
I'm just grateful that everyone is safe. That's what matters most. I'd like to hear what transpired, but first, we need to get these ladies to the infirmary. Understood. We'll go at once. I'm... I'm sorry, Professor. I'm so relieved I suddenly felt weak. I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. And I imagine no one will be more overjoyed than Seteth. Hmm? Hey, Professor. Can you make that expression one more time? What expression? Oh my gosh. Is Dimitri actually catching feels? I don't think I've ever seen your face like that. <laughs> I apologize. I've forgotten myself and come dangerously close to teasing you. It's just... I've never seen you look so happy before. It's downright mesmerizing. Ah, but this isn't a time for idle chit-chat. We must hurry and share the good news with Seteth. I know, right? Like, she smiles and they're like, oh my god. <laughs> Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. I think finally now, now that we helped save Flane, Sedith is going to warm up to us. I'm just happy she's safe. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. But why was Flane taken to begin with? Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. What? And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, mm. I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. Why? The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? Well, I think that's a great idea. You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? It would be my pleasure. I am so glad that Flane is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? And I think you do learn more about Flane in her. Well done, the other Professor. Route. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Um, who's Monica? Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. 
It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Did you come to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Sorry, but I've got my own mission. And it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Hmm. Not that it's likely. But if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf. I'm going to leave something for you. Don't say things like that. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? And yes, um, uh, did you, do you not learn, do we not learn more about who's, who Flane is Part in one. this route? I don't know. White clouds, wyvern moon, field of the eagle and lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna explore a little bit, and <laughs> I'm going to do um, a few supports, and then we're gonna go and do um, the first paralogue. I do like to see the God. Look at how much money I have. Eh, let's go visit her. You there, youngster? Won't you listen to this old man's troubles? I was born and raised right here in this town. I spent my whole life here. My daughter lives in the Empire, and she sent me a letter to ask if I was keeping up with my daily worship. Well, hello there, Professor. Is this a friend of yours? I don't know him. Is that so? I was sure you two knew each other. Is there something we can do for you, good sir? Oh, what a lovely young lady. I was just telling this kind soul a story. Really? What's troubling you? Well, I was thinking of going to daily prayer, but my leg's been acting up and I can't walk properly. How terrible. That's no good at all. May I be of assistance? I'd be happy to lend a shoulder and escort you to the chapel. Would you? Oh, I'd be most grateful to you. Thank the goddess for sending this young lady to me today. We'll need your help too, Professor. Here, sir, take my arm. 
splendid work, Professor. He really seemed to appreciate our assistance. Well, you helped me out too. I don't think I did anything particularly deserving of praise. I'm just happy that I could help. You did a great job cheering him up on your own. Putting a smile on someone's face always seems to brighten up the day. Is something wrong? You're giving me a strange look. How did you know something was bothering him? Oh, mm, how should I put this? I suppose it's just second nature to me. What do you mean? It's difficult to describe, but I can usually tell when someone is worried about something. Back there, I could tell that both you and the old man were in distress. I spent a good amount of my life living in the church. Maybe that's why I'm so good at identifying these things? Hmm, the big in the church. Did I not mention that before? I spent nearly ten years of my life in the church of Fargus. Many came to us with their troubles. In my own time of need, I once ran to the church myself, and they helped me. May I share something with you, Professor? It's about a dream of mine. What is your dream? I'd like to work in the church one day. I want to be like the priest who helped me. Never mind. It's not a very realistic dream. Please forget I said anything. If I were someone else, perhaps a commoner without a crest or stature, maybe things would be different. It's a bit sad, but this is the way things have to be. After all, only the goddess can decide our fates. Poor Mercedes. <laughs> she deserves to do what she wants, what she dreams. Oh well. What? The battle of the eagle and lion is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Uh, battle of the eagle and lion? Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The battle of the eagle and lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? Uh, well, <laughs> I remember our celebration most of all. It was certainly an unforgettable time. I've never seen anyone put away as much victory food as you did that night, Professor. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. Hmm, I wonder why. Um, well, what should I do? Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela, are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Huh. Well, if I'm the only professor present... <laughs> we have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Can I go to the bathroom yet? I really, really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, thank God. All right, give me a second. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Sam. I'll be right back. So much better. Sorry, I drank too much tea this morning. Way too much tea. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Alright, so we're going to... Well, actually, nobody leveled up, so I'm not going to worry about certifications, I don't think. How much... Oh my god, so many more supports! Alright, well, let's do a few supports. Let's see what he's got. Uh, yeah, we'll do Dimitri and uh, Catherine. Hey there. At it again, are we? It feels like I see you training here every day. It's my daily routine. I'm ill at ease until I've held a weapon in my grasp. <laughs> you said the same thing when you were little. <laughs> right you are. I've been meaning to come and talk to you properly for a while now. I was about to say the same thing. How long has it been? A decade? More? That was in Ferdiad, as I recall. You were just a little pipsqueak. You really have grown up, haven't you? I'm not sure it was quite that long ago. Not really. But it matters not. I remember those times well. Particularly your first words to me. Look at that young maiden wielding a giant lance. <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> God. Oh, don't look at me like that. I was thrown off by your haircut, that's all. <coughs> it's all water under the bridge. Now, back then I was quite furious about it. My father did give me a stern reprimand for speaking so rudely to a prince. But then, I never had a chance to apologize. I was always getting into trouble back then, just like the incident in Dusker. Speaking of... Do you ever think about going back to House Karen? Do you... Cassandra? No. I'm happy with the life I have. No offense, your highness, but I don't fight for king and country anymore. I fight for Lady Rhea. It doesn't bother you? Being labeled a criminal? You're worried about my life as a fugitive from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Don't worry about me. I'm here because I want to be. It suits me far better than the life I'd otherwise lead, as a noble lady of the kingdom. Is that so? How about you? You've never wanted to roam free? To enjoy life as an ordinary knight, unshackled from all those princely obligations. I can't say the thought has never crossed my mind. However, I am the son of a king. It's not possible for me to put my own desires before the good of the kingdom. Ah, you're too serious for your own good. How'd you become such a stiff? Don't worry, I've been working on that. Stretching is a part of my daily routine. <laughs> If you can What? Don't! Oh man. Alright. <laughs> it froze. The damn thing froze. Hold on. Ah shit. C come on! <laughs> Alright, I tried to stop that from happening. <sighs> uh the program that runs the Damn it! All right, well, we missed the, we missed the end of his, his support, but the program that I run my, um, the card through died. All right, well, whatever. They were just talking back and forth. I, it's, I don't really think it was much. Okay, so who else are we going to look here? To do... Oh, God. There's so many supports. So many. Balthus. Oh, Lysithia. Ugh, training was exhausting today. Need some quick energy. Aha! Perfect time for my favorite candy! <laughs> I won't make it back to my room without this sweet, sweet energy. And no one's around. So... <laughs> Looky here! It's the little lady of House Ordelia. Just back from training, yeah? You're unstoppable. <laughs> Not feeling chatty, I see. Something to do with those puffy cheeks? Got a cavity brewing or what? <laughs> I definitely don't! So bad you can't even speak properly, poor thing. It's okay, I know a guy. He'll have that rotten tooth out in no time. <laughs> Shit, don't do that. So neat! No, what is going on? There. Yep, best in the business. Use the special tools and everything. Door and a string or some such. <laughs> no, no! Thank you! Oh, you just had food in your mouth. You could have told me that a lot sooner, you know. Wow! Placing the blame on me? What a piece of work! But, uh... Hey, 
Don't tell anyone? That you were walking around with acorn stuffed cheeks like some kind of overzealous squirrel? Ugh! It wasn't acorns! It was candy! Even still, I don't plan on telling anyone a hungry Hold girl on. ate some food. Not much of a story, really. You don't get it. If people think I'm gnawing on candy, they'll think I'm nothing more than a child. That effect. I'd say it's downright prudent to fortify yourself any chance you get. Mature, even. Wait, what? Nothing is certain in life, not even your next meal. You never know when you'll be taken into custody and have to go without food and drink for a while. Just what kind of a world do you inhabit, mister? The real world, little lady. My life is a collection of getting into trouble, getting caught, and getting free. <laughs> One time, I was actually rescued by your parents. Bet you didn't know that, huh? They... rescued you? Too true. I owe them for that. I... Ah! I forgot I'm actually in a rush. I gotta run. <laughs> Enjoy your secret candy, pal. Mother and father rescued that guy? But when would that have happened? I like how Palthus calls everybody pal. <laughs> I love it. Um, and I had to get that call because, uh, I guess my get my glasses, I got my new glasses, they're in so I can pick them up tonight. Alright, let's do one more. One more before, uh, alright, well, we'll clear this one from her. Sylvain, good timing. There's something I want to say to you. Uh-oh, <laughs> did I do something wrong? Did you spot me sneaking back in this morning? Or is it about that girl who got mad I kissed her sister goodnight? <laughs> I can explain either way. Oh, really? No, I'm not here to get after you about those things. Surely other people have that covered. What I really want to talk about is your behavior during our training sessions. When we're sparring, you're always passing on great opportunities to get the edge on me. It's almost as though you're going out of your way to make me think you're incapable. Nah, I just like giving other people the spotlight. Uh-huh. It's not that you took something I said to heart about how you don't have to work hard to be good at stuff and how that isn't fair? I did take those things to heart. We're friends, right? I'd be sad if you started to hate me. There's just one thing I want you to remember. Guys like me, who hate hard work and sort of get by on our wits, it all falls apart eventually. I'm smart enough to know that. So I respect people like you. I mean it. Oh. Is that sincerity? It's kind of creeping me out. It's just so unlike you. Huh? When you say nice things like that, I can't take joy in beating you. I want to beat you when you're at your best. That's why it bothers me so much when you don't try your hardest against me. Let me put this a different way. I've always been treated like I'm special, and I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. I'm just tired of people thinking they know what I can and can't do. When everybody expects something of you, or envies you, it's kind of suffocating. I'd rather people think I'm dumb. Well, I mean, I can still be pretty dumb. <laughs> I have to admit, I have a hard time understanding where you're coming from. Just know that I want you to keep being great at everything without trying. If you stop being that way, I won't have any competition. <laughs> Competition, huh? I like the sound of that. Where the heck were you when I was growing up? If I had someone like you back then, I think I may have turned out different. And better, I mean. Anyway, I'd love to chat more with you. Would you like to grab some tea with me, or...? Oh, sure thing. The very next moment I'm free. For now, I need to get to my magic training. Oh, I see. Some other time, then. I look forward to it, Annette. Sylvain is actually pretty nice when he's not trying to get down the girl's pants. <laughs> I mean, was that bad? Tell me that wasn't bad. Or tell me that was bad. Alright, we're done. We'll, we'll, we'll explore a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna explore a little. Alright, um... The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is a free-for-all contest among the three classes. 
If you are victorious, the Archbishop will no doubt present you with a reward. Well, I'm not interested in rewards. <laughs> Just what I thought you'd say. Whatever, Hubert. Don't lie. Well, what's going on here? Is this this, uh... What do you say, Adel? Shall we meet up in the library later to... Oh, hello, Professor! Do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Adel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Huh. They seem really chummy. Um, yes I do, but towards the end of the game, when, Along um... Along with Flame, we found another female student who went missing last year. But now the combat professor Yuritsa has vanished. His origin begged many questions, so there were plenty of objections to his appointment here. He is apparently from House Rim of the Empire, but he was adopted from another family, or so they say. Anyway, there hasn't been much good to be said about House Rim in recent decades. Okay, I didn't mean that to do that. But, um, yeah, I saved my stat boosters uh, towards the end of the game, and then I look at the characters' of growth, and the ones that have, like, have had bad growth in certain areas, I will boost them. So, but that's more towards the end. Oh, let's do this real fast. Um, what is this? House for Sword Tournament? I think we need to put, uh, oh, we can do Catherine. She would totally win. Oh, we'll do, uh, we'll do Felix. Oh, I feel so bad for Marianne. She's gonna get killed. <laughs> Why am I even here? She can compete, but she's part of my. I guess she's. <laughs> Another win. Oh, Hadel Guard. Why am I even here? Damn, he keeps getting press procs. She's not homeless. She's part of the church. Oh, God. Why am I even here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Petra is badass, though. Uh, my, my Black Eagles run. She is like crazy powerful. Why am I even here? That wasn't even for much. Ugh. All right. Let's get out of here. Professor, do you have a second? It's about Monica. Does she seem off to you? She was in prison for a long while, but she seems to have recovered almost instantly, and she's been bizarrely cheerful. Hmm, now that you mention it. You see what I mean? I wonder if she's straining to seem happy just to make people comfortable. Hmm, and why is she so close to Edelgard anyway? Hilda, for someone who is lazy, you are certainly perceptive. <laughs> Very perceptive. Alright, uh... What the... Uh, let's see. Hello. <laughs> right. Field is in the Empire, right? I wonder how we'll get there. I thought I heard that there's no path that goes straight from the monastery to the Empire. Oh, perhaps we'll travel through Alliance territory. Yes, I see. From the east, we would go... Mm, there. Ah, yes, that must be it. I 
run all the way to the Empire for a mock battle? This is serious business, and there's a reward to be had as well. I'd really like to win this thing. Alright, who do I want to... Okay, we gotta... There's a quest. Let's go check out these quests. A fishing tournament, huh? Sounds fun, but not as fun as reeling in the ladies. Oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. The most important thing right now is preparing for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. After all, the ladies love nothing more than a winner. And around here, there's no bigger game. <sighs> no, I didn't. I'm... I think I'm only in, like, the third month. Um... <laughs> I'm sure they do. I knew you'd understand, Professor. Ah, uh, Sylvain, Sylvain. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Its name comes from the war in which the kingdom won its independence from the Empire. It's imperative that we fight our best. We must live up to the legacy of the King of Lions. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion draws near. His Highness insists upon training well into the night. He has said it is nothing to worry about. But how could I not be concerned? Because you are worry too much to do. You worry way too much. Okay, there is a quest in here, though. There's that quest. I thought there was. Professor. I need a favor. The Knights of the Holy Kingdom of Vargas are seeking someone to train with. The Kingdom Knights are certainly tough, but I bet you could keep up. Alright. Now what am I supposed to do? Hey! The Vanilla Day? What? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. This is my, um, I get to play, um, with my Fire Emblem Boys Day. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I can pick up all this shit later. I just gotta... Alright, I opened up... I did open up, um... Didn't I open up one of the merchants? Oh yeah, I did. Hey, Professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. <laughs> you understand. Okay. Oh, How yeah. about a favor? More trade secrets. Maybe. What's this? Do you have time for a request? Some bandits are making trouble in a nearby village. Normally we would assist, but right now we have our hands full with this Lord Bonato business. So many to help, so little time. What do we do? I'm fine. I'll go take care of your bandits. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Young Monica disappeared last year. I thought she had simply run along home. But it turns out she was kidnapped. I can't believe it. How awful it must have been for the poor thing. They say her personality has completely changed, but at least she seems more cheerful than before. Grateful to be alive, perhaps? <laughs> you would think that this girl would be completely traumatized. Ugh. No, I'm not talking to Lawrence. Yeah, you would think she would be completely traumatized. You know, the Empire used to control all of Fodlan, but after the Civil War, the northern region split off and became the kingdom. Later, the eastern part of the kingdom seceded to become the Alliance. There are three powers today, but a thousand years ago, we were all united as one. Even now, among the nobles of the Empire, there are some who dream of reunifying Fodlan. Hmm. I wonder who... Oh god, there are a ton of people in there. Alright, so... Uh... <laughs> Want to get us a few of these quests? Saints. Hmm. 
this up. Hey! Where are all these people? Alright, let's go garden. I gotta do some of my daily things. Oh, Shamir here needs me. Welcome to the monastery fishing tournament. You look confused. Didn't Sadaf tell you about it? Just catch whatever fish Flame requests. Show any fish you catch to Flame. I have a favor to ask. <sighs> okay, <laughs> so is it just me or did Setup set set up the tournament because Flane was <laughs> Flane was um kidnapped and he was trying to do something like to <laughs> to cheer her up? He is the best brother ever. Professor, as Set has told you, we're to have a fishing tournament. Given the events of the last month, I believe this is just the sort of distraction we need. Staff and student alike. Uh, will you take part? I'm afraid I'm not one for such festivities. I do enjoy a spot of fishing, though. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, what, who am I gonna? Who do I need to? I probably should start doing this because I want to recruit Hilda. lot today. Except I didn't get any food. I better plant, plant some stuff that's gonna give me food. There we go. Ooh. We're eating well next month. So you're taking part. How would you feel about a little friendly competition? Catch the same kind of fish as me and we'll compare the two. Biggest wins. Ooh, you're likely to be ash if you have a fish with a rarity of three stars or higher. Totally beating ash. Are you taking part as well? Why don't we have some fun with this? A little contest. If you catch a fish like this, come show it to me. Whoever catches the bigger fish will be the victor. Alright, I think it's time we go do some fishing here. Yeah. Turn the bait. Oh! <laughs> what did he get? Dang, just a small one? I need a five, like a double five fish. Five star fish. It's hard, I swear. It's like, it's actually really hard to do the fishing when I'm um, running the game through the capture card because I feel like, ooh, I did get, I got a huge carp. I feel like there's just a teeny bit of lag. A teeny bit of lag. Where's Flame? Yes. Will you be taking part too, Professor? Uh, I must admit I am quite excited. I cannot recall the type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So, if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? Okay. Uh, did I get the right fish? I thought I got a huge a fish caught in the fishing tournament it is very large size. But which type does she want? <sighs> what a shame. Oh my god, Flame, why are you so picky? It's a huge Fodlin carp. God damn it. Uh, 
will it tell you if it's the one she's looking for? I hope so. use the tournament lead. I just think I'm getting really bad luck. I remember getting it pretty quick the first time I did this too. Oh my god! Come on! I want to finish this up so I can go do that, that paralog before we finish. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My shit luck today. But how do you, like... was. I'll go check. Professor. <laughs> no. I don't think that was the right one. <laughs> oh. <sighs> what a shame. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, well, screw this. We're gonna go do some eating. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so Dimitri and we'll do Dimitri and Catherine. Oh, this takes me back. I used to love this when I was a child. Eating food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! <laughs> she does run pretty fast. And that's she her regular walking is running, so. Menu. Who do I want? Annette. And who else? Ash is happy already. Uh, Sylvain. Oh, we'll do Sylvain and Flame because their supports are pretty funny. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. This is nearly as delicious as mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Joey, stop. Get down. Alright, who else needs Annette and Dudu? Oh, Felix! We gotta do some Felix and Annette. On. They gotta like something the same. There we go. Yeah, green one, you mean? Who? What? That looks appetizing. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? 
I don't think I've ever seen Felix smile before. <laughs> this is a momentous day. <laughs> Alright, let's just finish up. To do... just to do with somebody. Who's to do gonna have to lunch with? Oh, um, Flame? Eh, you might be onto something there. You might. Who's to do? Come on. Uh, we'll do to do and Mercedes. I like this. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? I've only been inviting you guys to lunch for the last five, six months now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna train a little bit. Hey. Who am I gonna go train with? What is this quest, actually? Let's do these two quests, train, and then we're doing to do Paralogue. And we're gonna have to bring, like I said before, we're bringing my two lowest leveled classes, or characters. Which is giving me anxiety, but we need to do it. Oh, no. I gotta get over here. Yes, over there. Why didn't I talk to Dimitri? He wants to talk to To hold a fishing tournament at a time like this. Participate if you must, but I urge you not to lose sight of our goal. As for me, I won't be joining in. I'm so focused on the battle ahead, I fear I would snap my poor rod right in half. You know what? Dimitri really needs... He, like, really, really needs to relax just a little bit. Yep. Just, just have fun, Dimitri. I really think maybe he and, uh, maybe Sylvain can teach him a, a thing or two. A moment. Oh. Ah, I see. So you are Gerald's child. You so resemble your mother. Did you know my mother? I did indeed. I was acquainted with your parents. I've been wanting to speak with you for a while now. I've been gone from the monastery for some time now because... Well, it matters not. Might I ask a favor of you? Do you mind terribly picking up some fresh flowers to place upon your mother's grave? I am certain she'd be deeply moved to receive a gift from you. Dude, who the fuck are you? And why do you want to put flowers on my mom's grave? I don't know. I don't know if I... <laughs> the hell? Oh my god, look at all the support stitches popped up! Alright, I get up here. Let's do this real fast. I like doing these. Right. The only one. Yes, let's read a note. So I write my problems here, and you fix them for me? Yeah, right. This is just a setup for some hokey self-help nonsense, isn't it? Um, pretty much. I think that, I think uh, that's got to be uh, happy, right? Oh, she didn't like that. Damn it. I think he could. Yeah. Where's that quest, though? It's up here. Like this. What? I have a favor to ask. Would you mind delivering this love letter on my behalf? To whom you ask? Well, he's gallant. He has a charming smile, and he always puts his family first. <laughs> A heartfelt love letter. I wonder who that's to. Ugh. Oh my god. Alright, let's go see to do. Here you are again. check on the flowers. I see. The flowers you helped to water are in bloom now. Have a look. Aren't they lovely? Indeed. 
My sister was fond of this one in particular. I didn't know you had a sister. It never came up. Dusker is a dead land. Its flowers were all trampled under the boots of soldiers. But seeing this blossom brings back memories. I do not know why I am telling you all of this. Well, <laughs> I'd like to hear more. <laughs> more to do, I swear. There is little to tell. But if you are from Fodlan, you must know what became of the people of Dusker. The people who betrayed their allies from Fargus. The ones who were punished for regicide. The Dusker are shunned for their crimes, even now. It would be in your interest not to spend any more time around me than necessary. I don't care what other people think. You may think little of it now, but your reputation will eventually suffer. But, to be completely candid, it pleases me to be able to speak with you like this. If you truly do not mind, I would be glad to receive more visits from you in the future. Aww. See, Dudu is a gentle soul. <laughs> he is. I just feel so damn bad. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, you don't know what regicide is? It's when you kill a king. Hey there. So, like, regal plus side. So... <laughs> Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Certainly. Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Oh? Why is that? Well, because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued, to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? A few times, yes. The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still. Yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life. Yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at a glance, but it is there all the same. What are you talking about exactly? About fish, of course. Oh, bother. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious origin. <laughs> oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work. So surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? Well, I don't actually know. Wait. You do not know your own age? <laughs> you truly are mysterious. Hmm. Looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder... Could you be younger than your own students? And how old are you? Who? Me? Well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. You look one younger than the others. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Oh, by the way, 
You should know I had actually been considering enrolling in the academy for a while. I have endured hard times, but I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance at the academy. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. <laughs> um... Flame did grow up near the sea. Violet is not from the sea. <laughs> I don't know what the heck she's talking about, but she's not from the sea. Alright, we might as well get this last... This last support here, and then we're doing... We're gonna... We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna... Get out. We're gonna go a little late again today, but I don't think it's gonna take us more than a half hour to get this, uh, paralog done. Professor. Is this sport? Uh, where the heck? How do we get over there? Oh, it's gotta be the stables, right? Yeah. Professor. All right, time to talk to Dimitri. Thank you for your help the other day, Professor. Please, allow me to express my gratitude by taking you to dinner. Dinner? Oh god, I'm so excited. I would be delighted. Fantastic. Uh, please think about what you'd like to eat. After all, such magnificent guidance must work up quite an appetite. I've studied swordsmanship for some time, but your mercenary skills are something else entirely. Speaking of which, there's another question I must ask you. Were you reconciled with the reality of battle from your first foray? With the killing part, I mean? Well, no, it's never easy. I see. And you? No. I do not carry that burden well. I doubt that will change, no matter how many years come and go. The first time I led on the battlefield, I was sent to quell a rebellion in the West. It was not a difficult fight. The enemy was not well trained and their morale was low. A swing of the lance and your opponent falls. A flash of your blade and a path opens up. That's the sort of battle it was. Easy, right? Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Dimitri, stop! Well, you did what you had to do. That's one way to look at it. The leader of the rebel army was defeated, and the rebellion quelled. This was at the height of the post-war period. I recall coming across a dead soldier's body. He was clutching a locket, and inside was a lock of golden hair. I don't know to whom it belonged. His wife? His daughter? Mother? Lover? I'll never know. He was a soldier. An enemy. Someone we had cut down without hesitation. But in that moment, I realized he was also a real person, just like the rest of us. Of course, we cannot stand idly by and allow anyone to commit senseless acts of violence. Yet, in dispensing what we call justice, we take the lives of cherished family members, beloved friends. Killing is part of the job, but even so, there are times when I'm chilled to the bone by the depravity of my own actions. I felt the same way. <laughs> that you feel the same way is more comforting than you could know. Professor, may I speak freely? When we first met, I thought of you as someone who felt no strong feelings about killing your enemies. I could never trust someone who kills without batting an eye. My heart won't allow it. But after speaking with you and getting to know you better, I can see you're not like that. Now I know, with all my heart, that I can trust you. Thank you for that. Oh my god, you guys. I can see supports. Oh my god. <laughs> this ain't matter to Scissor Man, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go, um, train. Who am I train? No, actually, I'm gonna talk to Tomas real fast. Because this is kind of, this is kind of important. Where, where the fuck is Tomas? We need to talk to him. Where the hell 
did he go? Where is he? Oh, he's up here, I think. No. This time pass. Stables. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you feel that first refreshing breeze upon your face, you know it is almost time for the battle of the eagle and lion. Grander Field is within the Empire, but the path there from the monastery necessitates passing through Alliance territory. Fodlan's biggest river, the Aramid River, flows along the border between the Empire and the Alliance. You will have to cross one of the largest bridges upon that river, the Great Bridge of Murden. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were gonna get more out of him than that. <laughs> Alright, so who am I training with? train with, uh, we're gonna go over here and train with these people. Of course. The situation last month was dire indeed. The students endured great hardship. I hope you were able to put all of that behind you, so that you may focus on this month's assignment. Uh, of course. A most reassuring response. I trust that your class is in good hands. I look forward to seeing your skills on display at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Alright, let's see. We're gonna do some healing. I have something to ask of you. Um, leave it to me, I guess. <laughs> I have not even told you what my request is yet. Well, fine. Flane has been through an awful lot this past month. To make up for that, I have decided to give her whatever she wants. I asked her what she would like, and she expressed a desire for a feast of fish. Since I am sure the students would be interested, I have decided to hold a fishing tournament here at the monastery. I have left all of the specifics to Shamir. Please, enter and put in your best effort. Okay, this conversation is what was missing. <laughs> I bet you I'm gonna catch that fish now. <sighs> God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna do this one. I still have much to learn. Alright. Clearly, that's what I needed to do to trigger the goddamn fish. Well. Yes. How are preparations for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion going? Hmm? Fishing? <laughs> Taking it easy, are you? The recent happenings at the monastery. There is something going on behind the scenes here. I've been commissioned to investigate as well. As I've already mentioned, this month I'm off to the kingdom. You be on your guard, okay? Okay, Pops. I'm more worried about you than myself. <laughs> uh, perhaps I've gotten in your head too much. I won't go dying on. I've stayed alive this long, after all. You keep saying that! <laughs> you keep saying that. I always thought I was pretty good, you know? Then I'd go and get stabbed. Oh. But my opponent was the Death Knight, so... I figure I did pretty well to only get stabbed. I wonder if it's true that he is actually Yuritsa. Whoever he is, I'm going to make him pay. It turns out that when I get stabbed, I get really mad. Okay. Um... Alright, fine. I'll help you get revenge. I'm not going to let him get the better of me again. Alright. Ooh, buddy's yellow. I know it's so. Such power dwells within. All right, time for battle. We're gonna do this. We're doing this. Uh, we're gonna automatically. I don't have time. It's all becoming clearer. Really? You don't feel anything? I, I would think you would. Does it sever like Professor, all of the nerves or something? something? 
Uh, there is so much to do and never enough time in which to do it. Sleep is a nuisance, but my body forces me to slow down, even though my mind doesn't want to. Do you have any tips for shaking tired feelings away? Well, hot tea is always nice when you're feeling sleepy. Ah, uh, gotcha. I make him a, Professor. yeah, a heavy. Focus on bow skill, focus on lance right now. No. No, you're gonna stick with your bowl, damn it. It is a perfect day to exert oneself. Wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Amazing, no? on magic. I gotta fix that. I got a lot of characters. Each new experience is an asset. I'm really getting the hang of this. I've got a grasp on this. I understand more every day. A bit more skill never hurt anyone. I've still got room to grow. <sighs> All right, here we go. We're battling. Oh my god! Look at all the paralogs! <laughs> We're only getting one done today. Only one of them. All right, let's see. To do Sylvain, Ingrid. Oh my god. Holy shit! All right. Well, we were gonna do the the, the to do one. I had said. Um, actually, I'm gonna save. Alright, so... <laughs> War for the week. <laughs> Alright. Yes! D Why do you call him Doo-Doo? He is... He is... A gentle soul. <laughs> it's not Doo-Doo, it's to do on your mind oh it's you professor since you are here I have a favor to ask Ooh, stop don't do that dang it your highness you've returned sorry to keep you waiting to do I'm glad you're here as well professor I want you both to hear this to do is already aware but you should know there's been an uprising in the Dusker region in the western part of the kingdom an uprising in Dusker? Why? I am from Dusker. It lies just beyond the mountains on the northwestern border of Fargus. You are of course aware of what transpired there. The land was burned to ashes by the army of Fargus. All of the people were slaughtered. This was our punishment for the crime of regicide. <sighs> The barren expanse that was once Dusker is now controlled by a kingdom noble. But Dusker survivors, such as myself, still exist outside the region. This uprising is most likely the work of such survivors, seeking to reclaim their homeland. A request for aid was sent from Viscount Clayman to the kingdom capital and the church. He is the one who rules over that region at present. For now, the lords surrounding the Dusker region have sent their armies to help suppress the uprising. However... Is there a problem? They have sufficient troops, and strong ones at that. My worry is that there will be more unwarranted death. There have always been many in the Kingdom's army who believe the people of Dusker are foes, and hate them because of it. You would think they'd refrain from squashing the rebels out of political expediency. But I doubt that will be the case. If the Kingdom's army and the rebel forces of Dusker collide, there is no doubt that the rebel forces will be annihilated. I'm afraid that's the best case scenario. It could also turn into complete and bloody chaos for both sides. <sighs> Indeed. Which brings me to my news. I have just now received the permission I requested from the church. 
Permission for what? I asked the church to deploy our class to help handle the situation. So we may go? Not so fast. We still have a responsibility as students of the Academy, after all. The only one who can truly make the decision as to whether or not we go is our professor. So, what do you say? Well, we're definitely going very well. You have my most sincere gratitude. And mine as well. But we must move fast. I will go and alert the others. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> this is where we might lose somebody. I don't know who's my lowest class. Probably Flame. Oh, my God. I can't let Flame die. What would happen to Sedith? Oh, my God. I'm freaking out. All right. So... Let's look at our units. I can only bring eight! And I'm supposed to bring two of my lowest! Oh no! Alright, so let's see. Eleven. Oh my god, Cyril's dying! <laughs> Cyril's dying! Alright, who am I not bringing? Alright, first of all, we're gonna have Felix go out. We're gonna bring Dimitri. <laughs> Shit! Ingrid, maybe? Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be a. This is gonna be a fucking massacre. Oh fuck. Alright, so. 1817 by Sophia. <laughs> yes, I can. I consider it as my adjutant. But I told you I had to bring my two lowest characters. So who am I gonna have sit out? <laughs> oh, I can't have Mercedes sit out. All right, Annette, I guess. Oh, shit. All right, we gotta set up the Judens. All right, so who is going to... Oh, Balthus, definitely. He can, like... He, he's like a shield, so we're gonna put him on there. Er, I don't know. Why is it not letting me... It's not letting me do Balthus for her. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no, don't call me a monster. I'm not going to break Zedit's heart. I have to have... Okay, I got to get my, my strongest units on here. So... Ash, Ash is pretty strong. Sylvain's pretty strong. Dimitri, definitely. We can do this, right? We can do this. <laughs> I know. No spoilers, though. DV10 doesn't know the story. <laughs> so, let's see. Who else is uh, a Judence? A Judence. Uh, shit. No. Dimitri. God damn it. We'll do, uh... Felix. Come on, why can't I... Why is it not setting my Judence? No, god damn it! Stop my adjutants! <laughs> Alright, who he's Why is this a <laughs> I can't keep hitting the wrong damn button? Who is she with? Did you Fine, we'll just do that. All right. Okay, I, I just gotta make sure I have enough. I have enough items on them. Sword of Zoltan. Store. I know I gotta do all this stuff. I gotta do all of this stuff today because shit. I gotta make. Sh all right. Do they have elixir? Elixir? Oh god, she she's gonna need something. Uh, she's gonna need out of vulnerary. Oh, okay, a click Sarah. We'll give her an elixir. F fuck Sarah, I don't even care. <laughs> so, Alright, let's uh Welcome. You uh, gotta repair. Oh, I don't even have any boot steel. I need 
need to get myself some wood steel. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. All right, I think we're all right. All right. Come back. <sighs> all right, let's look at the map real quick. Oh, shit. <laughs> get Cyril back here. Shit. Why can't I move him? Oh. All right. We're fighting. <laughs> this might be a disaster. Or 15 turns. The kingdom's vanguard has already arrived, just as we'd feared. They far outclassed the Dusker forces. We cannot stand by and allow another massacre. But we cannot obstruct the Fargus army either. Our best hope is to force the troops of Dusker to withdraw before the kingdom soldiers get to them. The main body of the kingdom's army is bound to arrive soon. Until then, let's aim to quell this uprising ourselves. Once the main force arrives, we will be out of options. We must move fast. It seems the church and the kingdom troops are not working together. My head hurts just thinking about it, but we may be able to use that. First, let's push Dusker to retreat. The kingdom might then also withdraw without a fight. Let us be quick about it. All right, if you defeat the Dusker army before the Kingdom army does, they will leave the battlefield without any casualties. You can earn rewards based on how many you drive off. Okay, let's see. Oh, God. I'll give it my all. I give my all for our goal. You will die here. Shut up! I'm basically running with two less characters right I'm now. I'm on it. Uh, these guys can't get up here. Is anybody down here? Oh yeah. Oh shit, who is he? Oh, I gotta get flame, flame over here. Away. Shit. I'll cut through. Is that all? Go now, if you value your life. But aren't you with Vargas? In any case, thank you. Um, I have not reclassed Flame because... I'm not Flame, I mean, um, Ash, because I think I was trying to get his ability. Ready when you are. And I needed a few more, ba like another battle. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Had to be done. This isn't so hard. You can still get out of here. Run. What should I do? Alright. Stay focused. Our grudge will not be settled until all of you are dead and buried. Weak. Dang. Weak. This doesn't look very good for the Dusker soldier. Yeah. So obvious. Easy. Tetrislow. Right where I want. Oh, here we go. Over already. You're not going to kill us? Well, I won't wait to find out. I'm leaving. Safely away. Yeah. 
Water, really. <laughs> it's so over. Oh my god. This. For fuck's sake, Dimitri! Who's I, next? I thought you weren't supposed to be killing these guys! Split up between the east and the west and advance. That'll put the squeeze on those Dusker animals in a hurry. They are moving out. Time is of the essence now. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, those two, those two guys, they are dead. There's no way I could save them. I won't allow it. If only you bastards weren't here. I'll have your life for atonement, Kingslayer! What is it you think we have done? Filthy Dusker demons! Oh boy. I gotta get up there. Alright. Um, I'll get a flame kill him. Maybe. Yeah, I'll give her some experience. I am spent. Oh, let's Are they coming up this way? Holy shit, there are a lot of guys down there. Hold on. Oh, I don't Oh, no, I, got, I gotta... Damn it. Alright. There's a lot of people on this board. What do I do? Alright, we're gonna go down here. Cyril, you just stay there. You stay in the woods there. We'll speed this up. Get any frickin' rewards. Yeah. This is horrible. It's a slaughter. Should I have held back?
I think I'm gonna... There we go. Is that all? Steal myself. Seems this area is done already. All right, men, fall back. All right, so we're going to go back down this way. Oh. Can I have Blaine by? them down here. Looks like trying to go around this way. I know. <laughs> He's level nine. <laughs> He's just nine years old. As expected. get to meet them in front of this kid, these guys. Hiya! I'm really failing this one so bad. I am failing really bad. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh wait, I gotta get this plane out of here. Let's go there. Uh, shit. Who's targeting her? Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. Okay. Ha! How lovely! It's just not my day. They're all dies, he dies! <laughs> Poor Ash, he's like, wait for me! Guys! I'm all alone back here! Did eight. <gasps> Cyril's not even in trouble. <laughs> you fought well. I'm just gonna keep bringing him to Paralogs until he dies, just so you know. <laughs> I don't think I am either. At this point, with how OP my characters are, anyways, I don't think I really need it. <laughs> so obvious. Massacre. It's a massacre. No. Please don't die, Plane. <laughs> Please don't die. Oh god. Alright. This is the absolute worst way you're supposed to do this paralog. I'm just saying right now. Gonna need you to move. Yeah. 
That one is expected. Oh my god. Water. By the time Dimitri gets there, because he's got to tiptoe down the fucking stairs. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Only nine turns remaining. Alright. Each battle, a chance to grow. Alright, so... I need all my strength. There. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, we just need... Yeah, why thank you. I'm just gonna keep Mercedes <laughs> with Flame. She's gonna be our pocket healer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing it. I know I'm evil, but whatever. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Like these fucking stairs. Oh shit! Be gone. So obvious. Cyril's not even gonna die. He's fine. Seriously. That archer's gonna die before Cyril does. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> he's he's the uh, decoy, so I can get I can get Flame out of there. But see, he's he's fine. Oh yes, I'm recruiting Lawrence, and he's dying too. <laughs> he's dying. Oh. We gotta get down here. You guys will understand. You'll understand. Too bad. Yeah, you are. When when we finally Let when we away. finally get Lorenz in the group, you'll understand why I'm going to sacrifice him. All right, now we can fucking move. Oh yeah, about one. Predictable. Okay. As expected. Um, I don't want to ruin anything, but there is a. I didn't like Ferdinand as much in the first half pre time skip as I like him in post time skip. Just saying. So, he gets a lot better. Lawrence does not. There's nothing redeeming about that guy at all. Give up. All right. I can't even 
even fight these guys? Reposition. There we go. I'll heal Cyril. Give her a little XP. That helps. Gonna need you to move. Just give up. Soldier just got the smackdown. Holy crap. Whew. All right. So he still didn't make it. Sylvain's just gonna have to take care of this. He's gonna miss. Oh, he got it. Is this how our dream ends? I will check the status of the kingdom's troops. To do. I leave the Dusker army to you. Yes, your highness. Please be careful. You got rid of part of the Dusker army. <laughs> I only got a large bullion. That's it! It's like, here's a little cash, you suck. I could have told you that was gonna happen. Ooh, I successfully completed the paralogue and earned a battalion. Dusker have heavy, heavy soldiers. Yes. Damn it, no deaths today! <laughs> Although I really didn't want Flame to die. Cause... Why save us? I will not abide the needless death of my own people. You must know that as long as there is breath in me, I will fight. Then fight, and be defeated. But so long as you pose no threat to his highness, I will not end your life. Idealistic fool. We will not relent. Not until we've taken back the homeland you monster stole from us. I share the same sentiment. You, who sold his soul to Fargus. His Highness has promised the people of Dusker a home. His will be a kingdom that is proud to harbor the blood of both Fargus and Dusker. That's impossible. Don't be naive. Believe what you will, but Fargus will change under his reign. That is my firm belief. The Kingdom Army has retreated to the fortress. There should be no further danger. Prince of Fargus! You monster! Can you still run? Then I suggest you do so now. Your people are waiting for you on the other side. Remain hidden from the Kingdom Army. May our paths cross again. I certainly hope not. But remember this one thing. The people of Dusker never forget their grudges. Nor do they fail to honor favors. Hmm. Thank you, Your Highness, for accommodating my selfish request. Think nothing of it. This was something I wished for as well. If you must give thanks, direct it at the church for allowing us to join the battle, and to our professor for leading the charge. It's about time we headed back. The professor and the others are waiting. I am right behind you. Dudu's happy! Oh my god, my heart. My heart. <sighs> okay. 
<laughs> we, we went way too, way too long. God, I got all the... Oh my god, so many sports. Okay, so... This is, this is what we're gonna do. Next week, we're gonna work through some more of these paralogs. <laughs> yes, it's a happy do- No, not do- not do 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 do. So, um, we'll work through a couple more of the paralogs. Maybe we could try and clear most of these out next week. I don't know, we'll see. But next week is gonna be paralog Friday. So, um... But for now, um... I've already gone, I, I swear, these Fire Emblem streams are like three hours long, but I can't help it. This is a lot of shit in this game. But we're done for today.